Donald Trump is pushing the US towards protectionism. How likely is he to follow through with this policy and will he want a strong or a weak dollar? With me to discuss this is Bilal Hafiz, head of FX strategy at Nomura. Bilal, you've been looking at the history of um, protectionism in the US. You've come up with some very interesting observations. Yeah, so I mean, what we did was we looked back over the last two, three hundred years, uh, so over the duration of an independent uh, uh, United States, and looked to see how different parties in the US have uh, imposed different protectionist policies. And this chart here shows you import tariffs um, as a share of uh, imports overall in the US, going back to the foundation of the US uh, back in the late 1790s. And early on, in the very early period, there was a debate between the founding fathers, between Jefferson and Alexander right. Hamilton. Jefferson wanted low tariffs. Hamilton wanted high tariffs to protect American industry. And there was this initial debate around how high to set tariffs. Um, but what, what was the pivotal points were the wars America had. So there was a war against Britain um, in 1815, um, which resulted in much higher tariffs to fund the war. And they, they got the taste for high import tariffs uh, thereafter, uh, which shot up. There was a backlash against that uh, from importers, went down. And then the, the civil war in the US when Abraham Lincoln, who was head of the Republican Party, Party right. uh, uh, raised import tariffs much higher. So the tradition before the Second World War was the Republicans were pro-tariffs, protectionism Democrats were actually pro-free trade. Not much uh, in, in more recent years, but we are now looking at the prospect of, uh, of options for uh, Trump to introduce uh, protectionism. One of them might be uh, weakening the dollar, and that might bring, bring us back into FX intervention, which we haven't seen for a while. Absolutely. And I think the... Uh, the issue here is that if you do impose import tariffs, but you have a strong currency, they offset each other. So you raise the cost of imports by 5%, but if your currency is 5% stronger, they cancel each other out. So to me, there has to be consistency between the two. Let's, let's have a look at when the US has done some effects intervention. If you look back at instances where they have intervened um, and had a very clear FX policy, if you go back to the beginning of the free flow period, in 71, under the Republican, uh, Nixon, you had him devaluing the, the dollar. And then the next period was 1985, uh, where the dollar had strengthened significantly in the early parts of the Reagan administration. It reached a very high level. And then uh, the Reagan, along with its major trade partners, brought the dollar down here. Uh, the next period of intervention was in 2000, uh, another period of very high dollar sort of strength. And today, we fast forward to today, so the dollar is at very high levels. Yeah. Trump's come in, he's talking protectionism. So my sense is there is this chance of uh, some kind of FX and policy. And what justification would he offer to intervene? I mean, again, your, thir your third chart demonstrates that the current account deficit is in a position which, which gives him that justification. Absolutely. I mean, if you, if you look at the US current account uh, position, what you see is back in the, in the mid-80s when they did intervene, uh, the current account deficit was deteriorating, which meant they were importing a lot more than they were exporting. If we go back to today, what you see is the current account deficit has reduced a lot, the, the blue line here, but that's mainly driven by oil. If you exclude oil, what you find is the current account deficit has deteriorated over the past year or so. And I think what Trump is focusing on, uh, rightly or wrongly, is that he wants imports to go down, US exports to go up. Um, and so his main justification is for uh, the US to somehow become a big uh, manufacturing exporter once again. Lots of things we want to hear from Donald Trump, but we think that protection is going to be the first thing he's going to nail. Absolutely. That's the one most consistent policy he's had. Uh, if you go back to even the 1990s, when he has talked about policy issues, back in the 90s, he was pro-choice, uh, unlike today. He was talking about wealth tax on the rich, unlike today. But back then, he was talking protectionism. It's a very consistent policy he's had. So I think that's the, uh, a very likely thing he'll do from day one. Bilal Hafiz, thank you very much indeed. Thank you.